If I were to ask most helmet wearers if they would ever intentionally weaken or damage their motorcycle helmet, they would of course say no. That would be just plain crazy. Unfortunately, that's exactly what many of us are doing every time we clean our helmet. Hi everyone, I'm Louie. In this video, we will take a look at some of the do's and don'ts of helmet care. The most important thing to remember when choosing helmet cleaning supplies is that most of us aren't chemists. See, if a product isn't specifically designed for helmet cleaning, and you're not completely sure how the product will react with the materials used in your helmet's construction, then don't use them. There are numerous household cleaning products out there that can actually reduce a helmet's ability to protect your head. The biggest defender is this guy, glass cleaner. I didn't see any glass on this thing, and yet this chemical is one of the most commonly used by riders for removing bugs and fingerprints from their helmets and shields. This stuff is bad news. You see, unless it's organic, glass cleaner will likely contain ammonia. Ammonia is known to reduce the shatterproof qualities associated with polycarbonate, which is what most of your sub $250 helmets and almost all face shields are made out of. Another commonly used item for cleaning the shell is spray detailer. These products are not all bad, and many of them actually do a really good job of removing bugs without scratching the helmet's surface. It's very important, though, to be careful when choosing a spray detailer to be used as a helmet cleaner. These chemicals were designed for cleaning motorcycle and automobile finishes. Little or no thought was given to how their recipe may affect the structural integrity of helmet material. And most detailers contain petroleum distillates. These are necessary for cutting grease and create a suspension that's easily spread over the surface to be cleaned. However, there are three different main types of petroleum distillates, and two of them are very harsh on helmet finishes. The third, called paraffinic distillate, is the highest grade of PD and is safe for use on plastic or fiberglass surfaces. The problem is, you won't see the type of petroleum distillate listed on a cleaner's ingredients, only a warning that the cleaner contains them. So, if you're going to use a detailing product on your helmet, make sure to use a premium product from a reputable brand. If you're unsure whether the product is premium, or are in any way unsure of its potential to weaken your helmet material, do not use it. The last thing to note concerning spray polishes is, is right there on the name, polish. See, most spray cleaners are mildly abrasive. That's how polishing works. That's one of the reasons that spray cleaners like Plexus and Bike Spirits work so well. You're using them to literally sand the bugs off of your helmet. For the shell of the helmet, that's okay. In fact, oftentimes using a spray polish can give you a better than factory shine. However, many face shields have coatings on them for purposes such as fog reduction or tinting, and prolonged use of spray polishes on shields will harm these coatings and negate their features. To use a spray cleaner, simply spray your rag with the cleaner of choice and rub it onto the helmet. Now, spraying your rag instead of the helmet will prevent you from getting cleaner into hard to reach crevices. For hard to remove road grime or dried up bugs, spray the area directly and allow the cleaner to sit for a couple of minutes. The exoskeletons of the bugs will soften and then wipe right off. Avoid using these detailers altogether on matte finish helmets. See, many of these finishes are slightly porous and will spot if a petroleum product is used. If you want to avoid the use of chemicals completely, simply soak a rag with hot water and lay it over the shell. After a few minutes, you can wipe the helmet down and the bugs will come right off. Return the shine to the helmet by rubbing it with a terry cloth towel. And now let's take a look at the cleaning process for cleaning a helmet liner. First is the simplest method. For a helmet liner that is just musty from storage or lack of use, a spray cleaner can often do the trick. Now many fabric cleaners will work, but remember that you're putting this material directly against your face for an extended period of time, then potentially adding copious amounts of sweat. So choose a cleaner that is non-toxic, non-allergenic, and preferably non-scented, like this Helmet Fresh. To use the cleaner, simply spray the helmet liner with the cleaner, then massage the cleaner into the foam with a cloth or brush. Soak up any extra cleaner with a dry towel and leave to dry overnight. Now you can use a small fan to speed up the drying process in high humidity environments, but avoid using compressed air. A high pressure stream of air will stretch out the fabric and damage the foam. Now once the liner is clean, Helmet Fresh also offers an odor remover that kills the bacteria that causes odor in the first place. If your helmet has gotten sweaty more than just a few times, you'll need to do a more thorough cleaning of the liner. Just spraying a liner with fabric cleaner will not remove the salt from the sweat that has been deposited into the cells of the material. A salt pack liner is not absorbent and will be incapable of wicking sweat away from your head as it was designed. Most modern helmets have a fully removable liner, so this task is pretty easy. Simply remove the liner components from the helmet and hand wash them with mild detergent. I recommend Woolite for a few reasons. First, it's very gentle. It does not contain bleach, phosphates, or enzymes. It's non-acidic and it's pH balanced. Second, it's safe for use on all fabrics. 
Liners are made from many different materials. Third, wool light won't cause any stretching or shrinking. This is very important for obvious reasons. Also, it's available in these small pouches. The second leg of a long summer trip is far more pleasant with a fresh liner. And lastly, it doesn't contain any fabric softener. This one is very important. You see, fabric softener will negate the wicking properties of most liners, and there'll be little the liner can do to keep sweat out of your eyes. To hand wash, simply add your detergent to a sink or container full of warm water. Massage the cheek pads and liner until clean, then rinse until all of the detergent has been removed. You can squeeze or pat dry your liner with a towel, but do not wring out your liner. You can damage the foam on the inside. Allow to air dry, or you can use a small fan, but I do not recommend putting these items in a dryer. The EPS liner can also require some cleaning from time to time. This is another area where I think many people use cleaners that are way too harsh for this material. The EPS is the main shock absorbing element of a helmet, so it's obviously incredibly important not to alter this material, either physically or chemically. One video I watched recommended using 50-50 water to rubbing alcohol solution to clean the EPS with. Now while I do understand the logic, being alcohol kills germs and is very quick to evaporate, this chemical is way too harsh to be used on an EPS in my opinion. Quick example, many health websites do not recommend consuming alcoholic beverages from styrofoam cups. The alcohol breaks down the cup material and you end up consuming it. Obviously in our situation we're talking about different alcohol, different styrofoam, and different exposure levels, but still. If the materials are the only thing between your head and the asphalt, why risk it when you don't have to? A rag soaked in warm water with a small amount of detergent is all you should need. Any EPS liner that is full of mold, mildew, or anything else that cannot be easily cleaned has been chemically compromised. This EPS liner can no longer be guaranteed to perform its duties and full potential in a crash and should be replaced. Some slightly older helmets and value price models do not have removable liners. And while these are a little bit more of a hassle to clean, it's worth it to have a fresh smelling helmet that will wick moisture to its full potential. To clean this style of helmet, you'll need a large slop sink or container. Fill it with very warm water, add some detergent for delicate clothing, like Woolite, and mix it up. Submerge the helmet and clean the pads in the same fashion you would if they were removable. Work the material with your fingers or a cloth until they're clean. Rinse with clean water until all the detergent is removed from the fabric. And when you think you have all the detergent removed, you probably don't. So rinse the helmet one more time just to be sure. Pat the liner dry to remove excess water and air dry. Again, you can speed up the process with a small fan, but not compressed air. You might damage the liner of your freshly cleaned helmet. Thank you for joining me for this video on proper helmet cleaning. To see more helpful videos on motorcycle gear and apparel, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jaff from Videos. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, and remember, we're trained professionals, so don't try anything you see here at home, try it on your bike. I'm Louie, and you'll see me next time.